Bob and the Big Blob. The corn grew tall on Bob's farm. It was a peaceful, happy place until. One morning, Bob heard his wife sob. Oh, Bob, there's a big blob in the field. The blob has eaten a gob of our corn. Farmer Bob said, "Why that big slob ate every little glob? Where there once was a stalk, now there's only a stob." <laughs> Bob turned the doorknob and went outside to try to stop the blob. Hey, you big blob! Stop eating our corn! Yelled Bob. Who are you calling a blob? Said the big blob, as he tossed an ear of corn in his mouth. I'm calling you a blob because you ate all our corn," said Bob. "I think you're being a snob," replied the big blob, as he spat out the corn cob. "I'm not a snob. I just don't like you eating my corn," said Bob, as he used his cell phone to call for help. Before long, a mob gathered at Bob's farm. Can't we all just get along? Said the blob to the mob, as he popped another ear of corn in his mouth. <laughs> We're not here to hobnob, you big blob," said a man in the mob. You just can't rob Bob of his corn like this. Go get a job and buy your own corn. I tried to get a job, but nobody will hire me," said the blob to the mob. Someone in the mob started to lob clods at the blob. The blob couldn't bob in time to avoid the clods. One of the clods hit the blob, and his head started to throb. The blob began to sob. When they saw the blob sobbing. Everyone in the mob felt bad about hurting the blob, even the man who lobbed the clod. Oops. Maybe we should learn how to get along," said Bob's wife. "Hey, I've got an idea," said Bob. "Why don't we team up with the blob and make this place a tourist attraction?" I bet people would pay a gob of money to see a big blob. And he was right, and they all got rich and lived happily ever after. Once they all learned how to get along. The end.